Hello, hello. Hello, folks. It is your favorite brother from the other side of the planet coming at you from beautiful Vietnam. And I want to show you a really cool new addition to my wall. Check out this. So it is the North, uh, or excuse me, the Vietnamese army uh, during the uh, Cambodian War when they were marching from North to Cambodia. Uh, this was, uh, you know, around the French occupation before the American War and so on. But yeah, it's a postcard. Let me give you a little closer look at it. It was a gift, and I love historical things. And it shows you the, yeah, the North, uh, or excuse me, the Vietnamese army. And it says, translate, head west. Head west. Head west. So I believe they're referring to Cambodia at that time. But yeah, I have a lot of respect for the Vietnamese military, uh, their history, their fighting prowess, and um, all that stuff. So anyways, I'll give you a second here. See if I get a hair out of my way. Yeah. Anyways, though, I uh, making this video to kind of just update and talk. I um, I saw some pictures of my family recently, and it was a surreal experience to say the least. Um, like I've been here almost three years, and. I don't know if any of you can relate to this, but you leave, you go somewhere, and in your mind, time has not changed. It's it's like uh, the, the the mental picture I have of my family, the life that I left behind, is you know it, nothing has changed. People look the same, they're doing the same, but then you see a picture of your family three years later, and it is everybody looks so different. Their lives are so dramatically different. It's I mean, it was really a punch to the gut and a slap to the face, but not in a negative way, more in a way of just like, holy cow, like, you know, my family is moving on without me with their own lives and, and time is really, you know, I, I'm not immortal as much as I seem to feel like I am, you know, I, 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 it, I'm, Life is moving on without me, and it's it's very sad. Um, I, recently, my family went on a vacation, and they all went together. And of course, I was not the one present. Um, but I look back, and I've never been the one present. Um, I've never been on one of these special, you know, vacations. And I wish I could. You know, I really wish I could. Um, but. The point of my video is not to, to reflect on it negatively, but it's also, it's also to address some observations that I've seen. Um, so we'll talk it from a personal standpoint, and then we'll talk it from a, um, a advice from somebody who's been living overseas for three years now. So, and yeah, there's going to be people in the comments, oh, I've been doing it for 10 years, 15 years, but... but let me tell you, even three years, it's going to cost you. So if you're thinking about teaching English and coming over here, you really need to understand that there's a price that you're going to pay for this. And that price is going to be lost time with, with you know, your family. They won't forget you, but they will move, they will live their lives and move on without you. You know, it's not like they're just going to stay in you know, status, you know. But, um... Yeah, be prepared. Be prepared for that. And tonight, I think, was the first time in all the years and all the months and all the times. You know, maybe it's because I had 10 new pictures to look at, but that I saw my family and I just saw... I saw adults. I saw people with their own lives, you know, a variety of different paths. You know, we have a family man. We have a, you know, a law enforcement. We have, you know... A, we have some college, you know, students. We have a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know, I don't want to say everybody's business, but um, it's, uh, I'm proud. And, you know, statistically, like, to see your family, every single member of your family doing well like that is is almost impossible in my culture, in my country, in America, which is, you know, falling apart 
on so many different levels because of bad leadership. Um, I'll try to stay, you know, not, I'll try to stay apolitical, you know, for the most part, but um, everything bad that's happening to our country is because I directly attribute to ignorant and uninformed voters who care more about social pressure, Twitter feed, fitting into the herd than they do about actually studying, you know, and and um, uh, being informed. And that goes with other things too. You know, how many of you lined up for your, you know, but um, be prepared, be prepared. It's very hard and it makes me wonder, what do they think of me, you know? So I, I look at my family and I look at their lives and I, I wonder, what am I to them? You know, the, 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 the son that's on the other side of the planet. Do I even come up? You know, do I have uh, any, res am I respected, admired, or am I forgotten? Or is it just like, hey, he just did that, you know? Um, so much time alone has just warped my, you know, my, my perspective and my ability to see reality in the way that others do. And it's going to happen to you. Um, if, if you're an introvert, extreme introvert like me, and, um, I'm talking extreme introvert, and you also deal with you know social anxieties to like an extreme level. Like this job might not be the best thing for you. Um, if you're looking for a new start, if you're trying to run from your past, it, you're never gonna outrun it. But you can get new starts, yes. Um, but yeah, there. I mean, you might be able to do that, but. Yeah, they're, they're, um, if you're somebody like me who literally I can't even, on a Saturday night, I can't even go out. Like I sit at home and listen to, uh, you know, uh, audio books or, you know, I'll study, listen about what it's like to, you know, about the, the landing mission on Venus. They had a Russian probe that lasted, I think, like four minutes before. It rains acid on Venus, and the atmosphere is so dense that it's like walking through water. You know, just, I'm like a sponge. I just absorb information, and I get lost in my brain. But if you suffer from these things that I mentioned, be prepared that this is not going to help you in that regard. If anything, it's 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 made me retreat more into myself. There is one lifeline that I have, I think, that keeps my sanity, that keeps me, you know, attached to 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 people, other people, and it, it's so contra, you know, it's it's such a contradiction to go to the other side of the world to experience new cultures and to actually really experience it. And to all you people out there who say, well, I, I took a summer vacation out to France, like you didn't experience shit, you know what I mean? Like, or you know, I, I spent two weeks in, you know, on, like, no, you're a tourist, you know, you want to, you, I, I've experienced a culture, I've, you know, I have lived Vietnamese, I have lived, you know, and a lot of the Asian different kind of, um, if you want that, um, I guess I forgot my original point of what I was trying to say, but it, it, it's it, oh, about it being a contradiction, you know. I, I do, I do all this because I want to, I, I want the knowledge, I want the challenge, and somehow the pain and the punishment has become a form of penance and a form of uh, self worth. It's like. The more impossible the task that I could do, the more I justify my existence. The more I apologize for a life wasted when I, you know, I mean, so many years wasted. You know, like I, I, I've done more than a lot. I'm 
proud of that. Imagine if I would have started this in my, you know, imagine if I would have just straight out of you know, the military just started doing this. 20 years, you know, quicker. I'd be on top of the world. Subjectively, that does not mean wealth. That does not mean popularity. It does not mean women, fancy cars. That means, per, you know, perspective. That means, you know, knowledge gained. That means maybe finding my calling, my, you know, what it is that I'm meant to do. But anyways, be, be ready. Have a plan how you're going to deal with the isolation if you're an introvert. Um, if you deal with social anxiety, there is not, and especially in Vietnam, they don't really, the whole mental health thing is not something that's really they buy into culturally. Maybe more southern you go or it's westernized, you're going to have like, you know, western resources. But as a whole, like, you know, Asian cultures don't really buy into this whole thing of like, especially like learning disabilities with children, Asperger's, you know, uh, autism. But even when it comes to people like depression or social anxiety, like, you know, everything is so communal. Everything is, you have no personal space. Everything is family, groups. And it's just, that is such an, an integral part of what Vietnam is. And if you are, you know, if you can't handle that, it is, it's going to destroy you. How I've done it is I've turned this apartment into my sanctuary. You could say sanctuary slash, you know, sometimes prison cell. But I also, my motorcycle, it's the way that I escape into the world because I, I could put on all my gear, which and it, it literally is like a spacesuit, all black, every part of my body colored, face visor, gloves, necks covered, you know, I wear just straight all black, every part of me covered. You know, I can't even feel the outside world. And inside that, you know, that motorcycle suit that I wear that you guys have seen in videos, I feel separated, detached from, you know, I, I feel protected from people. I, I don't like seeing people's skin, seeing, smelling them, or or seeing people in sandals. That just bothers me. Or I, I don't like shorts. You know, I, I, I don't like... I, I, I just don't like I, it's, I can't explain it I'm sorry it's just I need to have layers to protect me I don't like the sun touching me that's why I want to go somewhere where the sun never shines and it just snows but be prepared for that be prepared for um be prepared for the, the isolation. And the way you're supposed to get around it is you're supposed to go home for vacations, right? So every year you would think that a teacher would fly home back to America, Canada, you know, UK, England, wherever. But you realize how much money that is? You know, a round trip to what, America? We're talking thousands of dollars, $2,000 maybe, I don't know. If you go on a holiday, which is when you, when you would probably want to do something like that, I mean, it's, who can afford that, you know? So, it's been all these years and I've not seen my family. I've not had a vacation back home. I don't even remember what my culture is like or what it's become besides just, you know, reading about it. Um, so... On the personal part of this video, seeing my family so changed really touched me, but it also brought me a great sorrow. You know, like the mental images I have of them, it's just like cemented in my mind and to see them growing up, it's just, it, it's like looking at different people. I wonder, if they look at me, if I look radical, well, I know I look radically different because I've lost so much weight, you know, gotten back in shape, you know, before I came here, like literally my face was probably this much bigger, you know, look at some of my older videos, uh, I mean, 
I'm, I've literally lost 90 freaking pounds. I feel great. Best shape of my life. Muscle-wise, I still got some way to go. But, you know, like my BMI body, body mass index, I literally, there's hardly any fat left. Um, I wish I could say that I did it the healthy way, but I didn't. Um, but that's a long story. But I wonder if you would look at maybe before, you know, the depression set in and the hard time set in, look at like the normal me, the me that I've been most of my life. Like, do I look radically different? Am I, you know, besides this gray hair that is so telling, you know, it's really, it's Dr. Strange gray, you know, but, um, Made me miss my family. And you know, I was held back so many years from seeing family because of that. You, you want to know how bad? I'm going to tell you guys something personal. And yeah, knowledge is power, but good luck trying to use this against me. It's no secret. My social anxiety, my fear was to the point where I couldn't even be around family. I imagine... Imagine that, that you are afraid to even be around your own family. That's the kind of life that I lived for many years. And now, now that I've regained some sense of, you know, of who I am, I, I, I have achieved this amazing accomplishment of Vietnam for three years and and so many more plans and places to go and things to do. Like, literally, I've just begun. If you stick around on this YouTube channel, you're going to see some amazing things that I accomplish. I've made my decision what my life is going to be. And I'm okay with that. And it is going to be... It, 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 it's going to be shooting for the stars aiming for the stars but not not Elon Musk control everything not climb out Everest and that puts me above everybody else not have money and yachts it's there's something else there is some other there's, there's some other factor there's some other calling there's some other purpose there's some other um, drive that I have and I don't know what it's for. What is it leading me to? And what is the point of it all, you know? It's not to prove something to anybody anymore. I've already done that. At first, yeah. There was a lot of people I wanted to prove that, yeah, hey, look, all you ta who talked, you know, crap. Look where I'm at. Look what I'm doing with my life. Where are you again? But now, uh, you know, three years later... And also humility. I've learned to be humble. To be humble is a lot more mature and a lot more, you know, palatable than bragging, being a you know, a blowhard and all that stuff. Like your enemies kill them with kindness. And don't even be fake about the kindness. Just kill them with kindness because they're irrelevant. You know? But this there's a drive in me there's a hunger in me uh, I'm compelled for something amazing and I know it can happen if my body it will not give out on me my mind is just getting sharper and sharper and sharper and I'm just learning things at a, like a at a rate that it's almost like where was this when I was back in like you know high school it's like my ability to learn and process information is just increasing, 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 increasing. And, you know, you know thinking, being able to think things critically at five different angles at once and memorize things. And I can actually, like, yeah, it's almost uh, developing a photographic memory, photographic, you know, like audio, uh, um, like remember conversations to a T, like just... I don't know where this is coming from and why it's getting stronger and better, but it is.
So if I have that, it's going to be for something. I can't wait to find out. English teaching is, let's be honest, means to an end. It is for most people, you know? I don't plan to teach my entire life. Teaching allows you to stay in another country, work in another country. It does allow you to have a sense of, you know, at least feeling like your job has meaning. Yeah, you know, because there is fulfillment to be gained from helping you know, students. Um, even though, as an introvert, somebody who suffers from anxiety, it is literally mentally exhausting to sit there and to sit there and have 20 people looking at me and have to talk for hours and hours and be the center of attention it is so hard but anyways let's, let's wrap this this is more of me just thinking out loud it's 1am in the morning wanted to make a new YouTube clip so in summary if you are not one of these people who want to be out hanging with other people, you are going to have to learn to live within your own head like I have had to. And if you do not possess that gift, you're not going to make it. Oh, well, I shouldn't say that because a lot of people told me I could never do things and I proved them wrong. You're going to struggle to do it, I'll say. And also to my family, it is... Uh, it's humbling it's it's shocking just to see how much in three years things could change and I am proud of you all to my father you remain the greatest man you know the, you know, the rock your your wisdom your 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 God, your life story. I hope you write a novel about everything you've accomplished, which I'll keep vague. But like, you are seriously, you know, my inspiration. You've known that I've modeled my life, wishing I could do a tenth of what, trying to do a tenth of what you you've done. You know, you're a great man. You know, my brothers, each of you are just going different paths, and it's so it's so fascinating because certain parts of it I can relate to, you know? Like, for example, the law enforcement. One of my brothers is pursuing law enforcement. Well, I have a degree in law enforcement. Um, so it's, it's very interesting to have that, you know, to have that... Um, that bond, and I wish we could talk about it. Another brother who is, um, you know, doing, you know, the military thing. That's something very exciting. I can't wait to s tell stories about. Um, I have another brother in college. Yeah, I, would, I can't wait to hear about his experience since college was such uh, an amazing experience for me, both times, you know. A stepsister, which I don't really know, you know, I've never really got to know her, but she's getting ready to start college, you know, and, and I wish her luck too, and, and, uh, my, you know, and then obviously, you know, Jake, you know, my bro, you know, you, uh, you're the, uh, <laughs> you're, you're just special, brother, you're special, you, you, you're, you're, you're one of the most unique people I know, you know, yeah, 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 you have, and you and I, we share the gift, and you know what gift I'm talking about, and, uh, the path you chose for your life, it's making you happy, and I'm so happy to see that it makes you happy, even though 
I don't think it will ever be the path I choose. I just, I don't see the allure of it. But I see how it makes you happy. And you look like you do a good job. And, uh, but anyways, and my grandmother, of course, who is the heart and soul, and, uh, you know, the, MV, the, the MVP, you know, the person in this world that I owe, love, miss, you know, my, my grandma has imparted life lessons. Whatever goodness there is in me is because of her, and, uh, and grandpa and you know and just I always struggle to tell you how much you mean to me girl just because that's like trying to explain you know how big space is like it, it's it's it, it, it's a feeling of appreciation admiration of love of like you gave me a taste of what I always wanted family to, what I thought, what I dreamed a family would feel like when it comes to the bonds, you and Grandpa, and and uh, you just you you are you're the you're the glue of the family that keeps everybody from just drifting apart, and I just worry because you're getting old and and. Uh, one day, if you, you know, when I'm gone, I do have a feeling that one day I might be gone before all of you guys. Um, even you, Grandma, there's a chance, you know. I always said that I thought that I would, you know, go before, but I hope that you watch these videos. I hope you do. They are my gifts to you. You'll never be alone because you could just watch me talk YouTube. But, and to Melissa, Ben, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, love you both. You're you're both amazing, and uh, you know, it's enough. Yeah, you know, don't need to get into that, but like. You know, I, I'm very happy for you, Melissa, Ben. I'm very proud of what you're doing, and that's that. And the people here in Vietnam, the one person here in Vietnam, you already know. So, okay, 28 minutes into this irrelevant video. I just wanted to put a new one out. I am going to read a book, or should we watch the Dune 2 trailer for the fat thousandth time? Do me a favor, guys. Go see Dune. Like, I hope that movie succeeds. So, anyways. If I ever die... Things turned out good in the end. Just don't cremate me. And remember, I want my body in the ground where snow touches. But things turned out good for me. And remember that. Like I, I got my, I reached, you know, my dream. I made it to the other side of the world. Maybe I didn't, you know, get get to experience it as long as I hoped. But like. I've done it all. I've raced the fastest cars, fastest motorcycles. I've loved the most beautiful women, women. Had a great, great family. Great brothers. A best, the, the very best friend. And still, and I'm fortunate yeah, that he's in my life, you know, knocking out his degree, you know, and a thousand other things that I'm, you know. So, okay. 
Goodbye. I got to end it sometime, right? 30 minutes. Goodbye.